I was shopping one day for our agency. I noticed that one of the employees was taking produce off the display and throwing them into boxes. And so I asked him, why, why are you doing that? And uh, he said that uh, they weren't able to sell it anymore. So where would this normally all go? Normally this would go in the garbage. I was astounded. I, I thought, you know, there's people out there that, that really need the food and are, are really trying to get by in life and, um, and all this is going to waste. Tamara felt that the food was still in great condition. She thought to herself, what if I can take all of this food and give it to the needy? She thought, you never know until you ask. We set up a meeting and um, I basically signed a waiver and now I'm picking up. Like, this stuff still looks brand new. And what has become of it too, that the people that we're feeding are actually eating better. So for the past six months, Tamara has been picking up food here at the Freshco at Victoria Park in Girard and dropping it off to agencies around the city. So where are we dropping off right now? Uh, right now we're dropping at Eden Community Homes. They are a mental health agency. Wow. There's lots of really cool stuff, so it's been really successful, and uh, it's great to have fresh vegetables. Where are we going here now? Okay, this is uh, the Van Duzer Art Studio. It's an art studio for those with mental health issues. Clients can now take home fresh produce. I mean, these people can't afford fresh vegetables. I mean, this, 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 it, it's, it's terrific. It really is. Several other grocery chains do have food recovery programs, including some Loblaws and Sobe stores across the country. Tamara thinks it should be a mandatory practice. I'm just one person doing one grocery store and affecting all these people. You know, it's, I can't imagine uh, across the city all these other places that could be doing the same thing. Well, her ultimate hope is that people will see th this story and ask the same questions she did of their local grocery store. Audra Brown, City News.